Looks like we're out of milk. I don't want to go out there. No one does, but we're out of supplies. I'm pretty sure it's your turn to go. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Fine. Fine. Get in, get out, no contact. <sighs> You've been daydreaming for hours, so I just went out and got it myself. Yeah, but you bought the wrong one. <laughs> Man. That Daniel guy is hilarious. Today, we're talking about a quick editing trick, very basic, very easy to do, that's gonna take your edits just, it's just gonna give it that extra little <clears throat> that it needs. In fact, it happened 12 times in just that one minute little sequence there. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about J and L cuts. Now, some of you might already know what that is, some of you might have no clue, and some of you might be using it without even knowing that you're doing it. In fact, I use both J and L cuts every time my intro rolls. Ah, you see what happened there? J and L cuts. J cut is when the audio from the next visual comes in before the visual, and an L cut is when your current visual, the audio continues past and you've transitioned to the next scene visually, but that audio is still running in the background. And that's where they get the name from. When the audio comes in first, it kind of cuts like a J. When the audio lasts longer than the visual, it looks like an L. Very easy to do. All you have to do when you're editing is hold down your Alt key and drag your video back or drag your audio in the direction that you want. If you want it to last longer, you drag the audio out. If you want audio from a previous one to come in, you drag the audio out and the previous audio in. Line them up. Now, J and L cuts are gonna elevate your edits for a few reasons. Number one, great for transitions. If you are, let's say, vlogging your trip to Mexico and you wanna transition to you know, a beach scene. Let's say you're in your hotel room talking about, hey, we just got here, and you wanna transition to the beach scene. A great way to do that is to bring the audio effects of the beach scene in before you finish the previous segment. So they're getting the audio saying like, oh, something's happening, we're going somewhere at this point, and then boom, you hit them with the visual, and that J cut in that instance transitions them nicely. Another useful instance for J and L cuts is conversation, and that's where you're gonna see it the most. J and L cuts in conversation are great for showing emotion. For example, if two people are talking, you J and L cut to and from the person talking so that you can gauge the reaction of the other person in the conversation. Whereas if you don't do that, it's very cold and informational. It's like, you're talking, I'm talking. You're talking, I'm talking. It alternates back and forth. Without it, all you're doing is getting that conversation across. With J and L cuts, you can see if somebody says something, you know, scary, you see the scared reaction of the other person. It helps to tell that visual story. All right, let's watch back portions of that little short video that I created to see when the J and L cuts come through and we'll break it down. Right at the beginning is probably two of the more noticeable J and L cuts. The first one is an L cut from me shaving, and then the visual goes to the close-up of the sink, the hair falling into the sink, but the audio is maintained through the original. The reason being that it ties it together. If you separate those two out, this is what it looks like. And now you have a much more jarring transition. You're still getting the sound effects from the shaving, but from a different angle, different microphone placement. So there is that cut that makes it sound like, whoa, there's been a change of scenery. Whereas if you carry that over, it's just a smooth transition, a visual transition, but you're still getting the, the audio from the initial shaving just makes it nice and smooth. The next one is a J cut and probably the most prominent in the whole little short film. It's me, you know, at the, the mirror, checking out my shave job, scratching the back of my head, then it cuts to the coffee machine. So 
So that progresses, that transitions forward in the day, but the audio of the coffee machine cuts in before. So someone watching that knows, okay, something's happening now. Those are not regular shaving noises. That sounds like a coffee machine. Is something else gonna happen? And then boom, the visual transitions them as they're sort of already like emotionally like, okay, something's going on. Yeah, without doing that J cut, it just transitions to the next thing. People would say, okay, like that's a natural progression. You wake up, shave, make a coffee, that's fine. But that J cut spices it up just a little bit more. Scroll forward to where the two Daniels are having a conversation. This is probably, it's not the most noticeable, but it is probably the most impactful in terms of getting the emotions of the video across. Remember what I said earlier about watching the emotions of the two people and you can gauge the reaction. The first J cut is when Daniel 2 is introduced and you hear him before you see him. Looks like we're out of milk. This allows Daniel 1 to sort of have a reaction and be like, whoa, that surprised me. Whereas without that J cut and that hard intro, you spent more time looking at Daniel 2. It's not as impactful. Looks like we're out of milk. And it sort of brings up questions like, was he there the whole time? Did Daniel 1 know about this? Like, there's no reaction to show what's going on. So let's watch the conversation. Looks like we're out of milk. I don't want to go out there. No one does, but we're out of supplies. I'm pretty sure it's your turn to go. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Fine. So, but <laughs> I am definitely not a great actor by any means, but for the sake of the video, it's good enough. You can see that the two Daniels are having a conversation. You can see that there's emotion involved. Daniel 1 is scared by the prospect of Daniel 2 telling him, you know, you gotta go out there and pick up this stuff. And you see that emotion. Let's watch that same clip back without any J or L cuts and let's see how it plays out. Looks like we're out of milk. I don't wanna go out there. No one does, but we're out of supplies. I'm pretty sure it's your turn to go. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Fine. It gets the point across, yeah, you gotta go out there, whatever, but it's a lot colder. It's like a lot more informational. There's no emotion involved. Yeah, they wanna, okay, you gotta go. It's sort of just like telling the facts. That kind of takes away from the next scene where Daniel is sort of nervous about going, and in the next scene is one of the, probably the best J cuts in the video. It's Daniel pacing back and forth, you know, putting on his gloves, getting ready to go out, and the audio from the next shot comes in first. It's him talking to himself. I don't know why I'm referring myself in the third person here, like I'm, that's, that wasn't me filming it. Anyway. It's fine. Get in, get out, no contact. Shows me talking to myself, sort of amping myself up to go. And that shows that natural progression. It again reinforces the emotional state of this guy who's like nervous to go out because of coronavirus. Without it, it just progresses. It's not as impactful, you know. Let's we'll watch it without the J cut. It's fine. Get in, get out, no contact. Again, without the J cut, it still serves its purpose. It's a little bit more jarring. I think when you watch the whole video back without J cuts, you sort of get that more jarring feel to it. J and L cuts just help you transition a little bit better. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Peloton bikes. If you're not, it's those stationary bikes with the big screen and the trainer's like yelling at you to pedal harder even though you're completely by yourself in your living room and they're like calling you out too. It's pretty cool, but the point I'm trying to make is their commercial does a really good job of using J and L cuts. Let's check out the commercial. And before we do, just know that obviously, I'm, this isn't sponsored by them. Like, despite the fact that I have the body of a Greek god, they have no interest in sponsoring me at this point anyway. I just like the way they've done their commercial for a couple reasons, and they use J and L cuts to emphasize their point. Let's check it out. Okay, Peloton, let's go. Hey, Sandra Munich, 50 rides, great. Max in Berlin. Los geht's! Come on, Peloton! 
Okay, so the purpose of the product is to showcase the intensity. That's the, the point of the commercial. They want to maintain that intensity. Oh my God, you're riding your bike. You're going to sweat. You're going to get a great workout. But there's a couple factors, and this is why the J-Cut works for the commercial. So <clears throat> the most noticeable J-Cut is obviously the instructor talking to the person riding while different things are happening on screen. The benefit to this is they want to maintain that intensity. You've got the intense music, you've got the person riding, you're you know cutting from their face, sweating, showing, yeah, I'm working hard. Then the whole bike shows, you know, it showcases the product. This is what our product is. It's a bike, show the person head to toe riding. The thing that ties it all together is the J or L cut audio from the instructor talking. Now you have two avenues you can approach if you don't use the J and L cut. You can have the instructor talking, but that's a much longer shot and the longer, slower, the more you hold the shot, the more it takes away from the intensity. If you notice any intense videos, it's always quick cuts, boom, boom, boom. Something's always happening on screen. Now, if you wanna do that, you wanna maintain that intensity without J or L cuts, you're losing the person's voice. If you're holding each shot for two seconds, what are you gonna do? Use two seconds of voiceover, uh, uh, uh. it doesn't work. So that underlying voiceover from the initial shot is what ties it all together while maintaining the intensity. Now the Peloton commercial and my personal little movie there used another editing technique. I want you guys to comment down below if you know what that editing technique is. I'm gonna do a part two to this video where we talk about that technique and how you guys can do it, but I wanna see if you guys can figure it out before the video comes out. Comment down below. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. You know, like I said, leave the comments down below and try using it. Tag me, show me if you've done any J or L cuts in any videos that you produce. Or don't even tell me you did it, just tag me and I'll see if I can figure it out. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya!